Hello, it's Ruby and welcome back to another vlog. So today I started off by planning for a meeting I had at 10. I did wake up a little later than usual, I woke up at 8 and that meant that I was slightly behind on what I was planning to do today. I planned for that meeting and then you know the drill, I like to go for a morning walk so I took Loda out this morning actually, but just went on a short walk for about 20 minutes. When I got back, as I say, I had a call. This was with a viewer actually. We were working together on a project, which was really exciting. And then I went downstairs to study. This is the first time I've ever written part of an essay downstairs in an armchair, but it was actually a very pleasant experience. And I drank some chocolate tea at the same time. Chocolate tea is my favorite at the moment. It's so good, especially with some milk. And I worked on this essay for two hours and actually managed to write a third of the essay. So today, whilst I'm in Oxford, I'm going to go and buy some presents for people. Yes, Christmas is over, but I feel like people need pick-me-ups in January. I'm going to be sending some little gifts and letters to viewers. I'm going to buy some things while I'm out, but there's something I'm going to order online. Hive is basically a place where you can buy books, but it's all independent shops which is really cool so i've already put them in the basket this particular person had told me a few books that they had really liked so i feel like she'll really like these three so i'm going to send them as a surprise so the three i'm sending are we were liars to kill a mockingbird and the house without windows all three of them are books i loved karma always seems to have a discount code for this shop which brings me on to the sponsor of today's video which is karma um i have worked with karma quite a few times now and I genuinely am just so happy to be working with them because I use them whenever I shop online. My whole family uses them, I've been using them for years. Karma is basically an online shopping assistant which basically ensures that you always get the best price when you're shopping online. It's a Chrome extension and incredibly easy to download, as you can see. Whenever you visit a shop, it will just pop up on the side of the screen or you can use it to save items. So for example, you can see that I've got this list here of some letter writing supplies I am hoping to buy at some point. Not only does this help to keep your shopping organized, but Carmel will also notify you if there is ever a sale, which is really great. So you can set, for example, for it to notify you when an item is 50% off or 25% off. But my favourite thing and the thing that I use all the time is the coupon feature where Karma will automatically scan the web for discount codes and then apply these to your order. Do keep in mind that the coupon feature is exclusively for desktop so downloading the Chrome extension is a must. This has saved me so much money online and I'm going to use it right now for purchasing these books. So if I just click I'm feeling lucky, it has taken 5% off my order. Just to note too, when you shop from select retail partners, Karma will give money back to you and to a good cause. It's completely free to download and you can use my link to download it, which will also be in the description box. Anyway, I placed that order and now we are going to go to Oxford. In the car, I was just reading Lewis Carroll's letters, who actually lived at Christchurch College for the whole of his life, so this was very fitting. Oxford is one of my favourite cities. I love the architecture so much. I think it's unrivaled, and I started off by doing a little bit of shopping, so I went to Waterstones. This Waterstones is my favourite Waterstones. And as I say, I was just looking for some gifts for people. Then after doing some shopping, I went and just walked around the city and looked at the architecture. I was only in Oxford for two hours in total and half of it was shopping, half of it was just walking around and looking at the buildings. 
it's one of my favorite things to do in this city and of course i had to go and see the bodleian library and the radcliffe camera the radcliffe camera is one of the most iconic buildings in oxford of course definitely my favorite you probably already know this but the physician john radcliffe was the one to commission the building of this library and so the story goes it's very ironic because he supposedly prided himself on not actually reading an awful lot and it's thought to be really ironic that he left money for a library. I don't know what's in this building, but the windows are beautiful. And you can see a candelabra. Well, it's not a candelabra, it's a fake one. What are they called when you have brackets? There are brackets with lights in. Anyway, when I got back, of course I did the customary showing my mum what I bought. So I'm back now from Oxford. I had a really good time and it was so much fun choosing out little gifts for people. I can't wait to send them out. So I can't get the lighting right. Whilst I was in Oxford, I picked up vegan donuts, the caramel for my mum, brownie for my dad, and then I got the apple crumble one for me. I'll do a cheap taste test of mine now. So this is it, it's got like an apple crumble top and I think it's filled with custard. You need to go and try this if you're vegan or if you're not vegan. I also thought I'd quickly show you the things that I bought today. I did buy three things for myself, which I will show you. The first thing is this headband. And then I got, again, on sale these two ornaments. I really like the style of these. I buy a new ornament every year, and this year I didn't. Didn't find one that I really loved, but I love these two. And I'm going to put these on my tree right now. Here we are the next morning and whilst eating breakfast I was reading The Art of War. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this book. I thought it would contain more wisdom than it actually did. As in because I had heard so many people raving about it, I thought it would be more readily applicable to modern day conflict um, and like applying it to everyday life. It's an interesting book because of its age but I didn't find it personally interesting for any other reason. I was quite disappointed by that, I've got to say, because I thought I'd really enjoy this book. Anyway, then I found my day. I just used my master to-do list and then transferred that onto a timetable because I had quite a lot of things I wanted to finish today. After lighting my candles, I moved on to working on my Dickens essay and this was my main priority for the day. I wanted to finish my first draft. I spent like a good three hours solidly working on this, which I definitely needed to do and I'm really glad I did it because I did manage to finish the essay. I just looked out my window and it's snowing. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting it to snow. Look, can you see? You probably can't. And also my windows are very, there's lots of condensation. Or it might have just stopped. I'm also going to clear out under my bed. It's quite messy as you can see. Um, under my bed it's really quite messy. There are just a few bits and bobs. 
it won't take very long it's not too bad but i just want to get a little bit more in order and also i always just seem to end up with a massive pile of books by my bed who else <laughs> i started clearing under my bed and then i got a bit distracted aka maybe was procrastinating and started putting away my christmas decorations instead i'm taking the ornaments off my tree and taking down my christmas decorations which is so sad the one thing i really don't want to get take down is my nutcracker i honestly love this nutcracker so much and i kind of want to leave him up all year round that's christmasy also this tree look at all of the pine needles underneath like it's crazy the second you touch it they all come down like when i take this one off also look at this ornament this is my favorite one it's like the fanciest ornament mm -hmm. i own it's afternoon tea very extra but i love it so much so it's got two little teacups with a silver teapot and then some scones and some finger sandwiches i'm just putting all of my ornaments in here actually this one might have to go separately because it's a little big but here are my ornaments i've got this polar bear with wings which is quite cool and then i've got my new ones which i love so much i don't want to take these down i really really like these heading out for a walk with some friends in just a few minutes but in the meantime I thought I would show you the things that I bought yesterday in Oxford so the first thing is this it's from the white company and it's a glass teacup and saucer the next thing is this from t2 it's tw uh, t2 random acts of tea 20 of their tea bags I love the tin this beautiful little pouch from accessorize it's got these dragonflies all over I'm making a little like secret garden themed literary box for this person i got two cards from paper chase um both of these were reduced so that was quite good uh this is for a friend it's an oscar wilde card you can stand it up so it's a postcard but you can stand it up it slips out of this makeshift frame and i think this might be the last thing it's from black cars i wanted to get one of these notebooks for so long like since i first saw them um i can't justify buying one for myself because they are quite extravagant but I have been speaking with this lovely person and speaking with her, I just feel like this is the kind of thing that she'd really like because she sounds a lot like me. Look how gorgeous this is. Blackwells has this thing where you can, they take like old books and then they fill it with, no, with plain paper. So it looks like a book and when it's on your shelf, it looks like a book, but actually it's um, like upcycled logo on the front to say what it is, if you can see. As I say, I went on a walk with some friends. I saw Felicity and Verity, who you might have seen in a few of my videos before. I'm back now from seeing Felicity and Verity. It was so, so lovely. We went on a long walk. It was just nice to catch up because I haven't seen them since October. Whilst I'm waiting for dinner, I'm just going to write this card. It's so pretty, I just love it.
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring today's video and I hope that you have a productive week.